Hey guys, I'm Shyam from Scala Studios. I'm a social media specialist and a graphic designer. I do a little bit of 3D modeling as well, so you can find me on Instagram at Shyam Bope. So today we'll be modeling this scene. So for this tutorial, we are going to be using this cool add-on, which I'll have the link in the description below so you guys can download it. And um, if you guys create this scene, make sure you guys send it to me because I'd love to see your work. Okay, so let's get on with this video. So we're going to delete the default cube and um, create a plane, scale it S and 10 and go to the shader window and increase the metallic slider to 1 and roughness to 0 0.1 and and press shift A and select bump map and connect it to the normals and shift S Werner texture and plug the distance to height and distance to edge and decrease the randomness and increase the scale to 10 and you get that and duplicate the Vernor texture and plug it into the vector and you'll get that so we are going to change this to f1 and you'll get this and i'm going to increase the randomness to about uh, 0 0.8 0.8 and I'm going to duplicate it and rotate it 90 degrees in the X axis and push it back a bit and set them all and scale it up a little bit as well and move my camera So it all fits in the scene. Scale, scale it a little bit more. So and once I'm happy with the camera. I'm going to press 2 to make the that plane a separate material increase the randomness and change this to distance to distance to edge so that we get that texture and I'm going to show you guys this face mesh I downloaded you got I'll put the link in the description and download the alembic scene from uh, the link in the description description and import it import that face and scale it down rotate it a bit and yeah I'm going to put this face into a new collection and call it face and i can delete the, f the mouth in from the inside as well but i'm not going to do it right now and um, this is the add-on i'm going to download the add-on i've already downloaded it so go to edit preferences and install the add-on and yeah and then press N and you'll see it in the right corner. And I'm gonna click by wireframe mode, select and decrease the iterations. I'm gonna decrease the iterations. And before I press destroy the mesh, I'm gonna save my scene in the de desktop. And I'm gonna press destroy mesh. And you guys can see voila just put one press the button and you guys will get that scene but you guys can see uh yeah i'm gonna increase the metallic 
slider and decrease the roughness to about 0.2 you guys can see there are two meshes underneath the face but we are only going to need one so i'm gonna delete one and leave the other one and add a new texture to that make it black uh, increase, decrease the roughness to zero and increase the specularity slider and i'm gonna pick the top um sophia on the eye and make it glass and i'm gonna make the other uh, eye and make it glass as well and then i'm gonna create a cube shift s and create a cube and put it on top of my scene scale it until my camera is inside the cube and move it in the z axis so my camera is in the scene and i'm going to scale it down from the sides from the top and the sides and i'm going to make a new material delete the principal shader and add a volume principal volume shade and plug the volume into the volume and de decrease the density to about 0 0.01 and increase the emission strength to about 0 0.001 there and make the global color black then i'm going to increase my lights radius to about one meter and so right now i'm playing with the lights a bit to get a nice look i like so right now we're in ev and I'm going to pick my lights and duplicate the lights, move it back so that you can see the background a bit. Push it back a little more. Duplicate that light. Move to the top. Back and increase the radius to 2 meters. Do the cycle you can see this and the uh, density was too much so i uh, decreased it to about 0 0.005 and i'm playing with the uh, anastrophe you guys can make these uh, as the way you want or if you guys want to copy the settings i have you guys can go ahead do that Picking GPU. And I'm going to take depth of field on and select the head from the eye, eye, block, uh, eye drop tool. And uh, put make the f stops about 0 0.3. So right now, mistakenly, I have duplicated the cube twice so I deleted the cube and made density about 0.0001 so yeah uh, so this looks pretty good for me so far so I'm gonna save the scene and do a text render to see how it goes So this looks pretty good for me and I'm going to take denoising data and increase the samples to about 1000 samples and render this image. 
So I'll catch you guys after the render. And yeah. So this is the final render. As you guys can see, it's a bit noisy still. So I'm going to compositing and uh, and take use noise and you guys can see all these options because we added denoising data and now I'm going to sh click shift A and create a denoising node and plug the noise ima noisy image into image and denoising albedo into the normal uh, and the denoising albedo into the albedo so you guys can see there are a few smudges in the back of the image right over there so if you guys if i unplug those two it kind of goes away a bit so i'm gonna leave it like that for now so this is the final render um all right guys that's it for this video hope you guys liked it and if you have any questions leave a comment below and uh, if you guys are modeling this scene don't forget to tag me so subscribe to this channel and share this video uh thank you guys see you